Hi, Stefan Svartling here and welcome to another episode of the iPhone show. Today we will have a look at the iOS app Scanner Pro by Riddle. It is available on both iPhone and iPad as a universal app. Scanner Pro transforms your iPhone or iPad to a portable scanner. You can scan checks, agreements, whiteboards, pages, newspapers, magazines, business cards and much more. After scanning you can email the document or upload to Dropbox, Google Docs or Evernote. Scanner Pro processes the images very smartly, uh, for example with uh, a great uh, edge detection. And you can also set uh, a custom page size if you want. You can choose between all the standard page sizes and you can set a custom page size if you want to. And you can save the documents as uh, industry standard PDF files and you can also protect the PDF files with a password if you want. And it's very easy to transfer the scanned documents to your PC or Mac uh, wirelessly by connecting your iOS device uh, to your home Wi-Fi network. If you upload the scanned documents to Google Docs, you can use the Google Docs OCR feature to convert it to editable text. So let's have a look at the Scanner Pro. Okay, so here's my iPhone and uh, we start the Scanner Pro app. So let's say we want to scan a new document. We click on plus and down in the bottom we choose camera. You can choose uh, photos you already have but we choose camera because we will do a new photo. And this starts and you can see you can zoom. You can see. Uh, let's say we want to scan this article, uh, at least these two paragraphs. Let's say this paragraph. As you can see, uh, hold still to take a capture, hold still to take a picture comes up before it takes the picture and the app feels automatically when you hold the iPhone still enough to take the picture. Now we could choose next page if you want. Uh, we can scan multiple documents multiple pages and save them in one document but we choose done as you can see the app um, tries to find the edge edges and uh, doesn't uh, do a good job here but uh, it's hard in a newspaper with many paragraphs of text so we will do it manually here like this looks good and up here you can choose uh, the page size, we choose custom, now we choose A4, done. And down here on the iPhone you can select fine borders or select all but we have already selected manually so we are fine by that 
in settings you can choose document uh, or photo color grayscale or black and white and uh, this is a newspaper so we have black and white in this case when you have finished the customization of the settings you just click process nice uh, animation effect there did you see it looks like a scanner very cool i like that a lot and as you can see here uh, here you have the scanned paragraph of text from the newspaper it's a swedish newspaper so that's probably why you don't understand it but uh, now we say that we are finished by the way you can down here you can change the contrast the brightness or export and export you can export to evernote photo library google docs mail and the open in feature the app supports open in and that's one thing i think for example google is bad at no of google's app supports open in i can't believe it i don't understand it good apps supports open in and the scanner pro supports open in and then you can open this file in all the apps that support this file format very cool uh, when you are happy with the scan document you just click done and as you can see now you have one page in a new document scanned you can edit and add more pages only scan more in the same document and when you are happy you can print it fax it add a password open in you can upload to iDisk, WebDAV services, Dropbox, Evernote, Google Docs. You can mail it. Very cool. If you open the page, you can hit export and export it to photo library. I did that. And we go into the photo library and here you have the scanned document so scanner pro is a very cool and useful ios app it makes your iphone and ipad a supportable scanner so that was scanner pro Please like this video, give it a thumbs up, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, bye.